In this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, scrapping drawer hardware or furniture hardware, whatever you want to call it. And you see one of our other videos, I picked these uh, drawers up on the, one of my trash uh, side, roadside trash pickups. It has some uh, 50 style, uh, eh, maybe 40 style uh, steel pulls. But I also came across this uh, board. It has like a display item on it of uh, drawer, different styles of, of drawer hardware and pulls uh, and whatnot. And I uh, got to, to looking at some of these and I was thinking, well, I'll just take them all off. And uh, I know this one here is uh, appears to be uh, copper. And uh, some of these other ones that don't have rust on them it could be uh, either a cast of some type or... Uh, brass and I uh, got to looking at them and, and some of these may have more value in them than uh, than the scrap value for instance this uh, small pull here I've seen some of these on eBay and I always when I go to eBay I always go and, and punch in the uh, auctions that have already ended that way you can actually see what something sold for just because somebody has it on their listed for a thousand dollars doesn't mean it's worth a thousand dollars so this is another time that uh, you want to have your uh, trusty magnet with you. And uh, you can just go and start. All these appear to be something other than. Now that's got a little bit of something in it. Of course it's sticking to the steel screws that are there. Yep, that's got a little something in it other than aluminum or brass. I like that piece there. It's a uh, solid uh, piece. I looked most of these up, and, and uh, they're mostly all on this board anyway. They're made by a company in Michigan called Keller Brass. But anyway, I took some of these other pieces that uh, was laying around the shop that I picked up, and some of this stuff can can pretty well fool you. I mean, that, that looks like it's uh, uh, brass. It's even got some tarnish on it, and I thought, man, that's going to be all right because I don't know if you can tell that gold look through there. But again, you want to take your uh, uh, sandpaper, your grinding wheel, or something, and just rub your pull on there. As you can see, well, I hope you can see. That's uh, shiny silver through there. It's hard to get this to focus, but so that's a cast aluminum that's been chemically altered or uh, painted or stained or something to give it a, a brass look. So, but it's still got some pretty heavy weight in it to be cast aluminum. But again, if you, if you found several of these, you know, uh, well at least two or more, you'd want to put those on uh, Craigslist or or even eBay or something. And even some of these other ones is going to be the same way. That's got a lot of weight to it, so that could even fool you that it may be uh, uh, brass from the weight. Again, we'll do a little scrubby scrubby. And again, we come up with a bright, shiny silver on the inside. So that's going to be a cast uh, aluminum piece too. Uh, this medallion is going to be the, the same way. It even has some tarnish on it there. Uh, but take it over and same thing it's going to be the bright shiny but take some of these other pieces without taking the board off pick one out that's uh, tell you what let me uh, let me put the camera down take a few of these pieces off and we'll test these and, and see what uh, what they look like I'm especially curious about that one it's got the uh, copper look to it so be right back Okay, now we got several of them pulled off the board, and uh, this piece here has a cast mark on the back of it. Uh, I don't know if you can make that out or not. 377. So that's Keller Brass, part number 377. And uh, I can get that nail out of there. Get it down close enough to where we can move over here and do a little rubbing on our grinding stone. And see that bright yellow, almost gold color? We know that's solid brass, all but the uh, the nails that's in it. 
and some of these other pieces these little heavy uh, ends there we'll uh, see what they've got again solid yellow color in there another piece of solid uh, yellow brass uh, that's heavy we'll uh, see what it's going to yield for us and silver again so that's going to be cast aluminum of some type we'll put it over here this is what I was really curious about that uh, spun, this is spun copper but uh, well my luck I'm scraping this off on the side and then somebody's going to post a comment that this is a uh, some Victorian something or another's worth ten million dollars and I just screwed it up. Okay, that's still that's got a yellow in it, so that's gonna be yellow brass and it's got some type of chemical or uh, varnish on it to, to give it a copper appearance, but that's gonna be uh, yellow brass. Set that over there. This is real light. Uh, it's got a piece here on the end, so we'll test both pieces. Yep, see that gold? Test this uh, mount there. Again, bright yellow, yellow brass. Put that there. This is the uh, handle that went in it. Rent, rent, rent. We'll test it. Yep, bright yellow. So that has some damage in it, but something. Other items like these medallions and stuff, that has got some damage on the on the side of it, so I doubt it's going to be worth reselling the yellow brass. But anyway, you just pay attention to those things. Check out uh, eBay, uh, ETSY, uh, even Craigslist and stuff, and get a value on those things before you uh, just uh, chunk them and uh, you know don't pass up anything. So that's scrapping furniture hardware, drawer pulls and stuff. So. Get out there and find this stuff on the side of the road and get rich. Again, thanks for watching and uh, happy scrapping.